What's up my little unicorns, new and old, it's Wes Indy Ray back again with another video. Now today we'll be tackling the subject on how often should you retwist your locks. So today I'm mostly going to be talking about starter locks but I will also give my thoughts and opinions on mature locks as well. So for those of you who wonder why I feel like I could comment on locks, it's because I'm actually the ninth woman in my family to have locks. So eight women before me have done it. I've taken care of the locks of several other people in my family as well as a lot of my friends. So I do know my way around a locked head. Also, like I said, I've had my locks for about six months now. Some of them are completely locked and some of them are just on their way, budding and doing their thing still. So I do have that personal experience as well. So my rule of thumb for locks in general, especially starter locks and baby locks, is that you want to retwist your hair before it gets to the point where separating each lock from its neighbor is unbearable. So there is a thing called lock popping or just separating your locks when you pretty much go through your head and make sure that your locks are not marrying together and if they are, you go ahead and separate them. Now this could be a tedious process, especially if your hair is overgrown like months and months and months because it'll happen really quickly. So you could separate your hair and it'll be fine one day and a couple days later they're all intertwined and marrying up again and you are going to have to separate your hair again. So personally if you want to have like well manicured looking locks like you're not doing the whole freeform thing, I would honestly suggest that you do a retwist when you have to separate your hair and then like have that retwist brush and pop in so that you don't have to go back and separate your hair again. Because we do it in a way that is so gentle that you're really not getting a lot of like breakage or anything like that. But there are times where you're gonna have to pop some strands so that they can go into the appropriate lock. So I also want to walk through the process of lock popping and separating. I'm actually going to retwist my hair because I feel like it is more productive to just do the retwist one time so that my hair is not marrying together and I'm not having to separate them and pop things here and there. That way you never know, like I'm planning on keeping my locks for a while, but if I want to comb them out, I don't want to have, you know, casualties in the mix where that wasn't even necessary. So my first tip for doing this is to make sure that you are working with moisturized hair, damp hair, preferable wet hair if you just get out of the shower. What I use to moisturize my hair and to wet it is I take a spray bottle and I talked about this on Instagram if you guys follow me I do a lot of live videos where you can see exactly what I do on the day-to-day -day basis for my hair, skin, makeup, and things like that. But I talked about on there I use aloe vera juice for my locks for moisturizing. So if I ever feel like my hair is getting dry I go ahead and fill a water spray bottle with some aloe vera juice and I put essential oils in there to have like a really nice smell. For those of you who don't know me, I'm a really big fan of grapefruit, bergamot, patchouli, and lemon. Sweet orange is also really good. And I like peppermint. Tea tree's always good. But if you guys wanna know more about my day to day, like I said before, go ahead and follow me on Instagram and we can get that party started. So all I do in this process is I take this mixture that I have here with, like I said, essential oils and aloe vera juice. And I like to spray my whole head first. I'll go ahead and take this down. Take it down for you. So I'll go ahead and spray my hair down first. Nice and damp. And then I will section my hair. So sectioning it just makes it a lot easier to work with. I'm gonna go right down the middle. Should I? Yeah. Right down the middle. And then I'm going to cut this one in half as well. And as you could probably see, I got a lot going on here. Side note, if y'all want to see my lot charms, you can go ahead and click the link right up here or look in the description box. And I'll provide a link for my last video where I go over my lot charms and where I got them from. But now you just have this section to work with. And we're going to go section by section, by section, by section. So what I typically do is I do it by rows and I take out all of this from the first row, clip it up, spray water on them. So even though I don't have parts in my hair, I go ahead and make sure that the locks really make sense. 
So I have this amount in this. You see how this is kind of connected to this? I don't know if y'all can see that. But I go ahead and gently try to pull that out of the top so that I'm not going to have trouble with my locks marrying that way. So I'm gonna go through my whole entire head and do that. If I were just separating my locks, then I would go ahead and pull from the next row and just make sure that these are not connected like so. And I'm gonna try to find ones that are actually connected because I kind of have already started this. Okay, so this for instance. These are kind of connected, right? Let me get a little closer. Okay, so these are connected, right? What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that the hair over here is completely saturated and moisturized and I'm going to gently pull them apart. And if it's not working on one angle, like if you have so much matting on one angle and it's like a cluster of three, then you just work different angles to try to reduce the amount of popping that you have to do. And you just make sure that they are all freed up. Same thing with the one back here. I'll turn around for y'all. See how that's like together? You're just gonna separate and get in between there and start trying to put them in the appropriate lock. So even though the goal is to minimize the amount of popping that needs to be done, don't be afraid of the popping. It happens, you're gonna have to separate your locks, especially if you wait a long time between retwists and also if you are one of those people who really cares about having clean parts. It's inevitable, it's gonna happen, but that's another reason why you have to be mindful of how often you retwist your hair. Because if you're retwisting every week, A, you won't even have to do this, and B, your locks will be a lot thinner. You guys, I really urge you not to retwist your hair once a week. I am looking back on this and I'm like, wow, I didn't stress enough how important it is to leave some time before retwist because if you don't, your hair will get so thin and it is not gonna be cute because it'll be like so much easier to break and fall off. And you do not wanna do that because you'll basically end up having to marry the locks yourself and entwine them together just so that they don't fall out of your head. So let me stress again, please do not retwist your hair once a week. So the longer you leave your locks, you know, without being retwisted, the thicker your hair looks with the final product. And also the longer you leave it like in excess, kind of it's one of those situations to where the more popping you'll have to probably do with your hair. And that's not really the best thing in my opinion popping your hair strands, it's not my favorite thing. So personally, I would suggest to retwist your hair about every three to four weeks, especially when your hair is newer because that's when you have all the flyaways and frizzies. Once your hair is mature, you can go months and it'll be a lot easier because your hair is already formed. It's not really trying to marry anywhere else but the root. But when your hair is super, super fresh and new, especially if you wash your hair or wet your hair often like I do, I don't really wash it with shampoo as much as I wet it, but if you wet your hair often like I do, you get the frizzies and they start trying to mat together and do all that crazy stuff. And my hair is not locked enough to just be able to stand on its own and not try to marry anywhere but the roots. So I hope all this is making sense and that's just my tip on how to actually separate your hair. Like I said, you're gonna make sure that you are completely saturating these strands of hair with your little tonic that you make. I use aloe vera juice and I use essential oils. Some people just use plain distilled water or distilled water and oils and things like that. And that seems to work for them. But just make sure it's completely saturated and then that's when you'll go in and clean up around your locks and make sure that the hair is being put in the correct lock. Other people who are freeformers don't care anything about any of that, so it doesn't even matter. But if you do care, I would definitely say, for starters, with my experience and my hair texture, 
I like to go between three and four weeks for a retwist and then I'll retwist it that way I don't have to do a lot of separating and popping. So with all that being said, I'm actually going to film a part two of this video. I'll have it linked up here as well as in the description box below once it is out. And that part two is going to go over exactly how I do my six month retwist, okay? You guys will see everything about how I prepare my lock for it. Um, you saw in the beginning how I separated them, but you'll see how I prepare my lock for it, what I actually put on it, and how I do my retwist. So make sure you guys go ahead and stay tuned for that one. I'll link it up there and down below once it is out. And I'll see you in the next video.